Welcome our vlogs. We're going to talk about how Eddie Brock and Gwen Stacy could be brought into the MCU for Spider-Man 4 and a very interesting well at the comics. So this is your boy Future Boy. Do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me to the future for more content. So yes, as we know, Peter now is at the end's whim of everything. He no longer has his Aunt May. He no longer has anything else around him. No friends, no family, no nothing. He is officially now a loner in this world. But now, with this going hand in hand with how we know Peter usually feels anyway, this is a really great step of how we can introduce him to the next two people who are going to be very important in his life. Now we know obviously MJ is going to be at the same place that he will be for university or whatnot, but he's obviously not going to be, you know, talking to her in that way. They're not going to know each other in that way. So for Peter to have some people around him who are going to be his friends, some people who are going to grow with him and whatnot, that brings me into the point of Gwen Stacy and obviously Eddie Brock. How will they be introduced? And I think the Ultimate Spider-Man comics are the perfect way for how we can possibly introduce Gwen Stacy and obviously Eddie Brock before Eddie becomes the Venom. And I don't see the symbiote coming into this until after he Peter requires it. So Eddie will have to wait a long while until it actually finds its way to him. Now we know Dove Cameron says she wants to play Gwen Stacy. And the reason what makes me feel like the Ultimate Spider-Man movie is what they will take with her because of the way how she has acted and looked in most of her things. I can see her definitely pulling off the more ultimate spider-man type of Gwen Stacy very hard very hard hitting very vocal very everything not really a push around not really a geeky type of way of Gwen Stacy but the kind of like the one that everyone fancied to be fair even though Peter didn't and he was more for MJ it was still something that even he had the hots for when he first saw her now I can see her definitely pulling off that version of Gwen Stacy and I do think that the reason why I chose ultimate spider-man not just with how she looks but because of the angle that her and Eddie Brock were in. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then I'll explain it. So when Gwen Stacy first meets Eddie Brock, they're okay. She can't, you can kind of see there is an attraction because he's a college student, he's got a car and everything. And then Peter, and he comes and picks Peter up after school when he's broken up with Mary Jane and, you know, kind of kills the awkward moment. Now, when he asks them to both come to a reggae concert, Peter doesn't go, he can't make it. But then obviously, Eddie Brock, on the other hand, says to Gwen, you can come with me. She's kind of like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. They go to the concert, he invites her back to his dorm, tries to shoot his shot, you know? It doesn't really work out. She says, I'm on. 15 with him saying I didn't think it would matter to a girl like you kind of never use those type of words to a girl yeah Eddie but then after that he she obviously leaves says to Peter that he's a creep and then that's it that's them two not talking again and she says Eddie seems like a very evil guy she can just have that feeling now I do feel like in this MCU universe Eddie Brock will actually be her boyfriend so it will be similar to Ultimate Spider-Man but a little bit different where in this time round it will be Gwen Stacy who actually introduced introduces Eddie Brock to um, Peter and she has the more closer friendship with him because of what he's helped her with in class, how he is as a person and then him and Eddie Brock will obviously become really good friends but obviously you know the outcome what's going to happen in the future which I don't see happening in the fourth film but I do see happening maybe in the fifth going sixth film of Spider-Man when he has the black suit and we can see Eddie Brock because it will make the connection that much more stronger especially when we see that Gwen actually leaves um, Eddie Brock and kind of likes Peter because of how he is that will be something that will be really worse for Venom and the hate that will grow now we know Spider-Man 4 is definitely going to tie into Daredevil Born Again series so we can see that there's going to be a lot of those type of things going on with other heroes we will see people like Kate Bishop or probably hear about her we will definitely see Daredevil and everyone like that and Spider-Man but I do feel like in the time that we're having this in Spider-Man 4 and it being set up as like the accumulation of Spider-Man and Daredevil versus Kingpin we will obviously have to have the times where we get to see Peter in his normal life as Peter Parker where he handles stuff with um, with Gwen Stacy and he's trying to get to know her be friends with her but then also feeling some feelings for her but then also seeing MJ all the time and Ned and being worried and saying he doesn't want to leave them but then also seeing Gwen Stacy is there and knowing that she's with Eddie but she's not that happy with Eddie that leaves a whole triangle between these three and Peter messing up something without being Spider-Man this time but by being Peter Parker and being himself and being nice to Gwen something she has never had and with the way how Eddie Brock is how Eddie Brock's kind of like you could either do him as a jock you could either do him as a guy who literally just is 
quite cool and doesn't really have the jock status but he is very cool and Gwen Stacy is obviously with him but with all the time that she's met guys she's never known someone that's quite like Peter and that automatically builds their friendship and builds something more that will flourish down the line if it should if MJ should obviously come back into the fold again yet or maybe not yet we don't know but I do feel like Gwen and Eddie Brock this time around they will lean towards the ultimate um, Spider-Man and actually put them together this time and have them be the ones that are introduced towards Peter instead of Peter introducing them to each other so this would be something that would be really interesting for it and like I said with Eddie Brock also being the type of person to get jealous in this it will be interesting to see how he forms this jealousy against Peter and then when the black suit comes onto him he'll know everything about Peter which will make it even more harder and make the battle between them two even more you know terrifying because he knows all of his secrets he's also got the suit now and he hates Peter not just for Gwen but also because of everything that they've probably happened maybe something will happen when they go for the same job maybe they go and work for the Daily Bugle and he wants to get quick cash and he actually tells Peter about going to work for the Daily Bugle because it will be easier and with Spider-Man and everything just always around the city how much more of an easier job could it be and the jealousy could stigma from that too with him getting pictures of Spider-Man but then somehow Eddie Brock can never get the pictures of him little little things can start spurring up from such moments and Gwen Stacy too but let me know what do you think of this do you think this is possibility of something that will happen that Eddie Brock will in fact be with Gwen Stacy in this universe in the the place where Peter's got into and he'll also have to deal with people like MJ being around and seeing Ned and they don't know who he is they're not really concerned about him and whatnot this could be a very interesting thing that could happen and I feel like the ultimate Spider-Man kind of set that up in a good way for them to utilize this arc going forward for the MCU but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy Eddie to future stay frosty peeps peace